Welcome back to Melody Guitar Book 3. This book focuses on reading and playing melodies in standard music notation. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own copy of Melody Guitar 3 that you can read from and write in. Plus, you can help support a music teacher, so I'll leave a link in the description. We're on pages 17 through 19. I'm going to show you major key signatures, the row of sharps, and the row of flats. A key signature appears as a row of sharps or flats at the beginning of each line of music. It's used to show which notes should be played sharp or flat. For example, if a key signature includes an F sharp and a C sharp, then every single F and every single C will be played as sharps, unless they're canceled by a natural sign. In this example, we have B flat and E flat in the key signature, and that means that all your Bs and Es are going to be played as flats. A key signature can have as many as seven sharps, and the sharps always appear in the same order from left to right. That'll be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. Part of your assignment is to memorize this row of sharps. And you can use this saying to help remember the correct order, or you can make up your own. Fat cats go down alleys eating birds. A key signature can also have as many as seven flats. And just like the sharps, the flats always appear in the same order from left to right. B, E, A, D, G, C, and F. I would also like you to memorize the row of flats. And you can use this word and phrase below, or you can come up with your own. The word bead, B-E-A-D, go catch fish. It may also help to know that the row of flats is the row of sharps backwards. Aside from providing a list of flats or sharps to play, a key signature also tells you what key the music is in. The music we play is based on scales, and you've already learned several scales. A scale is simply a set of notes that a composer uses to write a song. You've been playing the C major scale in your warm-up for a while now. If you're playing a song that draws from the notes of a C major scale, you're playing in the key of C major. In the key of C major, the home note is C. Now if I start on this low C, and play up to a B, it doesn't sound quite complete. Now if you stop on a C, the home note of the scale, it does sound complete. Now if there are sharps or flats in the key signature, another note will be the home note or the key. You can tell what major key you're playing in by looking at the key signature. There are also minor keys. We're going to be discussing those later in the book. The key of C major has no key signature, no sharps or flats. To find the name of a sharp key, you raise the last sharp in the row by one half step or one fret, and that is the name of your key. For example, if you have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp in your key signature, you take that G sharp, the last sharp in the row, raise it by a half step or one fret, you're on an A, you're in the key of A major. If you have five sharps in the key signature, you have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. You take the last sharp in the row, that A, you raise it by one fret or a half step, and you're on a B, you're in the key of B major. For flat keys, the second to last flat on the right is the name of your key. You don't have to raise or lower it. That flat is the name of the key. The exception is the key of F, there's only one flat in the key of F, so there's no second to last flat. So you just have to remember that if it's one flat, you're in the key of F major. Aside from that, second to last flat in the row is the name of your key. If you have three flats in the key signature, that's going to be B flat, E flat, A flat. Second to last flat in the row is E flat, so E flat major is your key. If you have five flats in the key signature, that's going to be B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Back it up by one flat, you're on a D flat. D flat major is the name of your key. At the top of page 19, we have exercise 23. This is a written exercise. What I'd like you to do is use those techniques for naming your major keys that we talked about from page 18 and write the name of these major keys. I'm going to go over these answers right now, so I suggest pausing the video writing your answers, and then restarting the video and checking your work. Number one, our key signature has B flat, 
E flat and A flat. This is a flat key, so you take the second to last flat in the row, the E flat, that is the name of your key, E flat major. Number two, we have three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Take the last sharp in the row, that G sharp, raise it by one fret or a half step, you find yourself on an A, we are in the key of A major. Number three, five sharps in this key signature, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Take that last sharp in the row, the A, raise that A sharp by one fret or a half step, you find yourself on a B, and B is the name of your major key. Number four, there's only one sharp, F sharp. You raise that F sharp by one fret or a half step, you find yourself on a G. One sharp in the key signature puts this in the key of G major. Number five, two flats in this key signature, B flat and E flat. The second to last flat in the row, the B flat is the name of your key. We're in B flat major. Number six, four flats in this key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Second to last flat in the row is the name of your key. That'll be the key of A flat major. Number seven, five flats in this key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. The second to last flat in the row is D flat. D flat is the name of our major key. And number eight, one flat in the key signature. This is our exception to the rule for flat keys. Normally we take the second to last flat in the key signature, but there is no second to last flat. You just have to remember that if there's one flat, that B flat, you're in the key of F major. So why would you memorize the row of sharps and flats? Flats and sharps always appear in the same order. So after you're familiar with the order of flats and sharps, you can quickly tell which notes are sharp or flat simply by counting the number of sharps or flats in the key signature. For example, if you see a key signature with three sharps, you'll automatically know that you're gonna be playing the first three sharps in the row, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, because they always appear in that same order starting with the F sharp. On top of that, once you understand how to quickly find the names of sharps or flats in the row, it's gonna be easier to identify what key you're in. Your assignment is to memorize the row of sharps and row of flats, as well as those rules for naming your major key signatures. And from this point forward, we're going to identify the key that we're in in each song. Don't forget to order your own copy of Melody Guitar Book 3. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Take your time with this, and then when you're ready, I'll see you at the bottom of page 19. You're gonna start seeing key signatures in your melodies.